Welcome to the installation video for the Raycam CST Cold Shrink Termination. This video will instruct you on installing the CST Cold Shrinkable Termination for power cables up to 28 kilovolts. This video is for demonstration purposes only. Please refer to the product installation instructions included in your kit for exact dimensions and measurements to use. CST 150-280 Series Cold Shrink Termination Step 1. Select Product. Check the table in the provided product installation instructions to confirm that the kit you are using is correct for your cable. Step 2. Prepare Cable. Prepare the cable as shown in the product installation instructions using the provided cutback template as a guide. Step 3. Install Sealing Mastic for jacketed concentric neutral cables. Abrade and solvent clean the cable jacket. Using light tension, wrap one layer of gray sealing mastic onto the cable jacket as shown. Without crossing, fold back the neutral wires over the cable jacket and press into the gray sealing mastic. Wrap a layer of vinyl tape over the neutrals as shown in the product installation instructions. This tape will be your marker for where you drop down the termination. Using light tension, wrap another layer of gray sealing mastic over the neutral wires and the first layer of the gray sealing mastic. Using high tension, wrap two layers of vinyl tape from the mastic to one quarter inch onto the semicon layer. Ensure all mastic and neutral wires between the mastic and semicon are covered. Refer to the picture in the product installation instructions. For LC shield, copper tape, or flat strap neutral cables. Abrade and solvent clean the cable jacket. Lay the ground braid on the cable jacket with the solder block aligned with the jacket cutback and the short end of the braid over the exposed metallic shield. Attach the braid to the metallic shield by placing two wraps of the spring clamp over the braid. Fold the short end of the braid back over the spring clamp wraps. Continue to wrap the remaining clamp over the braid Tighten the clamp by twisting it in the direction it is wrapped. Lift the ground braid away from the jacket. Using light tension, wrap one layer of gray sealing mastic onto the cable jacket as shown. Lay the braid back over the jacket and press the moisture blocked section of the braid into the mastic. Wrap an additional layer of gray sealing mastic over the moisture blocked section of the braid. Using high tension, wrap two layers of vinyl tape from the mastic to the end of the spring clamp and ground braid, being sure to cover any sharp edges. Wrap a layer of vinyl tape around the cable jacket as shown in the product installation instructions. Step 4. Make Lug Connection Ensure the CST termination will fit over the lug by placing the lug into the lug end of the CST holdout. When using a shear bolt connector, Strip the insulation according to the table in your shear bolt connector installation instructions.
Using a wire brush, thoroughly clean the bare surface strands at each conductor end. Determine whether the insert in the connector should be removed according to the table in the connector installation instructions. If insert removal is required, use a small screwdriver to lift or tap the insert from the connector body. Do not remove the inhibitor contained inside the connector. Back out the bolts enough to give clearance for the conductor in the connector body. Note. Do not completely remove bolts from the connector body. Removing bolts followed by improper bolt reinstallation could result in stripping of the threads. Insert cable conductor until it butts up with the end of the connector. Hand tighten the shear bolts so that the connector stays in place. Alternately tighten the bolts set by half turns with a socket wrench until the bolts shear off. Alternatively, use an impact wrench and tighten the bolts so that they remain in place during the shearing process. In the order shown in the connector installation instructions, tighten the bolts until they shear off. Note, the bolts must be sheared off in a specific sequence Shear the bolts starting from the bolt closest to the cable insulation. Continue shearing the bolts, moving towards the end of the lug and finishing with the bolt closest to the lug end. File smooth any remaining part of the shear bolt that remains higher than the connector. Following the installation of the lug, clean the barrel of any excess inhibitor and dirt. When using compression lug, follow your company standards when installing a compression lug. Following the installation of the compression lug, use an abrasive strip to deburr the connector if necessary. Step 5. Clean Insulation. Clean the surface of the insulation using an approved cleaning solvent. Be sure to remove any conductive particles or contamination. Do not use abrasive or solvent on the semicon of the cable. Step 6. Install termination. Slide the termination onto the prepared cable. Align the edge of the termination body with the edge of the vinyl tape. Refer to the picture in the product installation instructions. Slowly pull the holdout cord while unwinding in a counterclockwise motion. Confirm that the termination body remains butted against the vinyl tape as the body comes down on the cable. After the holdout is completely removed, the vinyl tape marker should be removed to allow the leakage current an easy path to the neutral wires or ground braid. Note. If using a shear bolt terminal lug or pin connector, ensure that the bolt holes are covered. CSTIL and CSTOL products are suggested for use with shear bolt connectors since they include a long neck to cover the shear bolt holes. If installing a bracket, install the rubber pad around the cable jacket and secure with wraps of vinyl tape. Slide the bracket around the cable. Clamp openings may be manually widened for large cable. Position the metal mounting bracket over the rubber pad. Insert the bolt. Install the lock washer and tighten the nut to securely fasten the cable to the mounting bracket.